Why do bad things happen to good people? Living on planet Earth exposes us to the reality that the good die young, as Billy Joel sang in one of his songs. And because they do, many choose to question God's judgment and authority. The logic goes something along these lines. If God is all good and all powerful, then he should only allow good and prevent all evil. But the world is filled with evil and good people suffer. So God cannot be all good and all powerful. There are many problems with that logic, but we'll just look at two. The first basic problem is our presumption of the right to judge the God who created us. There are many subpoints within that, but for the sake of time, let's look at the second problem, human free will. Everyone who pursues that logical argument against God assumes they have the free will to judge God and make their own choice as to whether or not to believe in and or serve such a God without realizing the kind of God they're asking for would not allow free will. For God to only allow good and prevent all evil would take away all human free will to choose. Hopefully you see the logical trap of such thinking. Calvinists, trapped by Augustine's pagan Greek concept of God, openly reject free will and present a different solution that says God causes all good and evil and chooses whom he will save and condemn based on his own sovereign will, separate and apart from anything we do. That version of God is a worse monster than the one the atheists reject with their logic. As a Christian, I reject both concepts because the Bible offers a better, more reasonable explanation than atheism and Calvinism. The answer is simply that God will judge us for our sin. God is neither impotent to stop us nor capricious in his judgment. He allows us to live as we choose, but calls us to obey and warns us that we cannot sin with impunity. In other words, we won't get away with it. Because there is more to life than this physical realm, God watches and works with the long view, the eternal view, rather than the short-sighted, under-the-sun view of mankind. Listen to his words to the people of Judah who ignored his word and thought they were going to get away with it. The Lord arises to contend and stands to judge the people. The Lord enters into judgment with the elders and princes of his people. It is you who have devoured the vineyard. The plunder of the poor is in your houses. What do you mean by crushing my people and grinding the face of the poor, declares the Lord God of hosts. Isaiah 3, verses 13 through 15. We have the freedom to abuse and mistreat others. But don't think for a minute that God is unaware or unable to do anything about it. God will rise up in judgment. It may not be during our lifetime, which is why so many think they will get away with their evil. But God is aware, and God will judge. Are you ready to face your Creator and judge? Thank you for watching Morning Minutes in the Bible on An American Missionary. Until next time, this is James McClendon, hoping you have a great day.